All right, guys, I want to show another kettlebell exercise today, okay? Um, what I want to show is called the kettlebell bottoms up press. Now, if you ever worked out with kettlebells, a lot of different ways to press them, you know. Standard kettlebell press is you hold it like this, press it overhead. Standard shoulder press, great exercise, okay? The bottoms up press is like it, like it sounds, okay? I'm grabbing the bell by the handle and bouncing it like this, okay? Significantly more difficult than here, okay? Um, a lot of us, myself included, have tight shoulders, have shoulder issues, you know, I, I bench a lot. This is a good exercise, okay? I, I actually do these after my bench sessions, okay? Now what, what makes this such a great exercise is the stability involved, because if you look here with a traditional kettlebell press, it's resting against my form, okay? I can do this all day, no big deal, okay? But when I go bottoms up, now the heaviest part of the bell needs to bounce, and my hand is on the handle. So if you look here, you can see, this is 30 pounds, which is not heavy for me, but you can look and see that I'm kind of working stabilizer, right? And what that does, it stabilizes your whole body. It makes your whole body work together as one unit to press the bell, whereas if it's here, it's balanced on your forearm, and you press all day. Here, you get a better range of motion, okay? Press all the way through, come back down, okay? Obviously, the weight will significantly change. Like me, I, I've, I've, I've uh, kettlebell pressed 80 pounders before. Um, with, with this, 40 is tough. This is 30 for the sake of demonstration. But here, okay, and look, with the whole motion, I'm working to stabilize it. Like my grip, my forearms, everything is tight, okay? So this is really good if you have bad shoulders and you wanna press, this is, will work well with helping them rehab, obviously go very light. But this is really good strength builder too. I do this after my bench workouts, after my main bench. I'll do a couple of sets of these, you know, higher reps through a full range of motion just for healthy shoulders. Because benching can beat up your shoulders. And these are actually a good rehab exercise. Obviously I'd recommend going light until you get used to it. But I've incorporated these into my regimen and they're, they really are amazing. So even from the side, you can see my whole body's tight, working to stabilize it up and back, okay? Now, how you guys wanna use these, how you guys wanna do them is up to you. You can do them seated, which takes your core out of it, depends what your goal is. You can do them on the ground like this, which is really difficult, okay? That's why I sing the praises of kettlebells so much, because they're such a diverse piece of equipment. Whereas with a barbell and dumbbell, you're limited to movements. Here, you can do those same movements, but you can, they're a little bit more dynamic. So in the long run, you get more out of them, okay? But I highly recommend the kettlebell bottom-up press. It's an amazing exercise, it'll give you amazing results.